All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to take this photo and change it into this photo. Uh, you can see this is not a bad photo, but the client wanted something punchier and edgier for senior sports photos. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to do from here in probably about five to eight minutes. All right, so first thing you do is in Photoshop or Lightroom, it doesn't really matter. Uh, in Photoshop, I'm gonna do open as, and I wanna make sure I'm opening it as a raw file. Uh, this is a raw file, so it's not a problem, but the advantage of doing this is it's gonna give me more options uh, later on. So I need to grab 51, 56. Sorry, I thought I had this in the right spot. So I'm opening this as a DNG. Okay, so this is what it opens up as. And the first thing I always do is go to exposure and make sure that's correct. I'm gonna actually up it just a little bit on his face here. Um, then I'm gonna go up to FX up here and I'm gonna bring in some vignetting. Um, I'm just gonna bring in some, it's gonna make the sky more colorful and such. Um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take up clarity and I'm gonna really pump that up. Okay, so now you're starting to see a little more edgy and basically that's just gonna make it uh, uh, show more definition between colors. Um, I'm gonna quite a bit. And then I'm gonna take vibrance and I'm also gonna really boost that up. You can see we're, you know, a lot, uh, we're, we're almost there. Um, take vibrance, turn that up. You can match the saturation as well. We don't wanna go nuts. Now you'll see that what's happening though is his face is turning orange. So I'm gonna back down the, the saturation instead. I'm gonna go up here to the, the hue, saturation, and, and uh, luminance. And I'm gonna choose just green and I'm gonna really turn that green up. Look, it's going from yellow to a nice luscious green. Now that, you don't wanna go unbelievably green, but you know, somewhere in here is just fine. Uh, that's, that's believable. You can also go to the saturation and just turn up green. Um, so somewhere in here is fine. And then luminance is basically, do you wanna make the greens darker or lighter, right? It depends what you wanna go for, right? Um, I'm gonna go somewhere right in here. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn the green a little brighter. Um, so I'm gonna go like plus 20, but you can do whatever you like. Um, then I'm gonna start using a brush. So up here is an adjustment brush. I'm gonna click on that. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna get the sky to really pop out. So uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna actually turn down the exposure and then I'm gonna take the clarity and again, I'm gonna pump that up and I'm gonna take the saturation and pump that up too. This brush is kind of small. Um, so I'm gonna undo that here, control Z to undo. I'm gonna make this brush a little bit bigger. I really wanna feather this out. Um, so it looks pretty good right there. And I'm gonna just kind of get the edges here you can see the blues are in there as well. It's making for a much more dynamic and interesting sky. And then I can, once I have that sky selected the way that, the way that is, I can then mess with it more. I'm like, you know, is it better exposed high or is maybe, maybe it's better down? Ooh, look at that. You go really low, it's, it's unbelievable. But you know, going right here, you can, can kind of see the sun's coming up behind, beneath the uh, club there. That looks pretty awesome, just like that. Um, I have the original right here again. I can kind of compare it. You know, how does this look different? You know, it kind of looks like it came up with something else this time, but uh, we can get it a little bit closer than this. Um, so really, I'm probably going to go back to this club. Oop, <laughs> undo that. I'm going to click. If you click on it, it shows the area that's affected, right? So you know, maybe I do want to um, bring up the saturation even more, right? Uh, it's only affecting the sky there. It gets a little bit unbelievable over here. So you know, I don't have to go crazy with it. Um, so that looks pretty good, just like that. And uh, yeah, I'm liking that quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna go back to just the, the hand here though. Um, he's starting to look a little too yellow, I think. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, uh, white balance here and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna turn this down, like the temperature, you know, overall, do I want it blue or do I want it more of an orange? You really wanna look at skin tones for this. So somewhere in here is just about perfect. So that's looking good right there, fantastic. All right, uh, highlights look good. Contrast, if you wanna bump that up even more, you could, uh, again, I don't wanna get unbelievable though, and I don't want it flat though either. So, so I could pump it up just a little bit maybe, somewhere in here, okay? And that looks pretty good. And you know what, I think I'm gonna end up taking the exposure, going a little brighter with it. So maybe like 0.5, something like that. Maybe 6.5. Okay, that looks pretty good. I could go to the FX and I could also take the highlight priority um, and change that again. So do, do I want a lot of vignetting or maybe I don't want it? Um, you know, it's up to you. Some people would say no vignetting, it's awesome just the way like that is. But I like to put a little bit of Dan Yede on. It really makes them pop out. It gets a little darker on the edges here. And uh, yeah, I think I really like it just like that. If you're curious how I took this photo, it's just basically the sun's going down. It's over in this area. And I had a flash 
hitting him on this side. That's why you can see a bit of a shadow from his legs there, really make him pop. That way, he's exposed correctly for the sky that's behind him. Okay, and I can hit open image. That brings it into Photoshop. Just give it a second. And once it's there, I can make more edits. You know, if I wanna remove people, I have some people back here. I could remove them if I wanted to. I'm just gonna use a spot healing, or I could use like the clone stamp, for example. Um, and I can make a little bit bigger brush and such. Uh, but really not necessary. It is very small and not really distracting at all. Um, but if you wanted to get rid of these small things, you could use the clone tool and do so. Um, but really, I don't think anyone's going to hardly notice something like that. But that's how you use the clone tool. Get it back to the spot right here. Um, yeah, and once you're done with it, all you got to do then is save as. It's going to want to save it as a, a JPEG or a PSD or whatever else. JPEG if you want it to put it somewhere, if it's the end product. PSD if you want to save the changes, but uh, um, either way is fine. So there it is. Good luck. And in the next video, what I'm going to show you is how to make this. Um, it's actually light painting, but I can show you how to edit this picture as well. So have a good one.